what's going on y'all man today's video i want to talk about the death of a rapper west philadelphia rapper ybc duel this is a very important conversation we need to have because there's multiple layers when it comes to this man's death so ybc duel for you who may not know who he is ybc duel is a west philadelphia rapper who was involved in a lot of street gang culture and ybc duel was famous famously known for digging up one of his ops graves in the music video so he digged up an ops grave and he put it in the music video that got him buzz right he had buzz before that but that got him a lot of buzz then he got interviewed by a vlogger a youtuber a content creator named brandon buckingham so brandon buckingham did a series or did an interview about the gang culture or the street war that's going on in west philadelphia and the day after he dropped that video or perhaps maybe a few hours after he dropped that video ybc duel is dead i go nobody don't play with me i never got robbed i never got touched shot at in the city yet there's a lot to unpack but before we get into this man here on broken traditions we're about breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture if you're into that kind of content you have the kind of mindset join the movement and by joining the movement you can follow me wherever you find this content at i greatly appreciate you guys i want to pull up this tweet from actually from brandon buckingham so the day the video dropped brandon buckingham put on twitter just dropped a video about the gang war in west philadelphia it's one of my wildest videos i've ever made nearly everyone is in jail or dead then the next day, he quote tweeted his own tweet and said, damn, rest in peace to YBC Duel. Just found out he was killed a few hours ago. It's a lot to unpack. It's a lot to unpack. So first, let's start with the news story. This is coming from ABC6 News out in Philadelphia. So let's get into the news story first. So we have a clear understanding on what's going on. While a separate shooting left a local rapper dead, who police say is affiliated with a known street group. Action News reporter Leland Pender following all of it for us tonight. He's live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters with the details. Leland. Yeah, Shari, as you said, two men are dead tonight. These shootings happening just a few hours apart, but police say right now it's too early to know if they may be connected, and right now no arrests have been made. Chopper video shows that first scene around 3.30 on North 6th Street in Olney. A white Hyundai SUV held there as part of the investigation. Police say a 25-year-old man was killed after being shot in the chest and hand, but they are still working to find where the shooting happened. Sources ID him as Abdul Vix, a rapper known as YBC Duel, affiliated with the West Philadelphia Young Bag Chasers or YBC Gang. All right, so you seen that, you heard that. YBC Duel, uh, Abdul Vicks lost his life, right? I don't understand the the need for the clout that is done in hip hop, well, this new, new form of hip hop of being disrespectful. This man digged up a grave of one of his ops. If somebody loses their life, you won you are still living you have a chance to either course correct and live a better life or continue doing what you're doing and ultimately have an outcome that you had but you won why do you need it why do you feel the need to dig up an ops grave you know why because we living in a society of clicks and likes and views and we're not putting that into real life correlation we're not putting to the fact that perhaps you're doing this to disrespect this person this family, his friends, his loved ones for clicks and likes. You don't care about that. What you care about is your clicks, your likes, your views, your clouts. You go to any length to get those clicks and likes. That is a tradition we need to break away from because, you know, him doing that is just par for the cause when it comes to the culture. Par for the cause. Everything's about clicks and likes. And when I say the culture, I'm not even talking about black culture. I'm talking about culture, the culture that we need to break for, break away from the toxic culture of the, the clout chasing clicks and likes, just like Brandon Buckingham. This man went into West Philadelphia, knowing that there's a whole street war going on to do an interview for clicks and likes. I want to pull up the Brandon Buckingham interview so you guys can see what's going on with that. Does the 
prospect of possibly getting shot just walking around make you nervous at all? Or, I mean, what's your thoughts on it? I ain't gonna lie, bro. You should be nervous, though, bro, because walking with me, a bad joint. But so-called niggas be on my ass, though, so that'd be a bad joint. We just we just having a cool, collected day. We don't feel like shooting people. We don't feel Hell like having no. shootouts or none of that. We just chilling. Y'all can do that when, when I'm back home safe. I wouldn't show up that comment. I want to shove that comment. Y'all could do that when I'm back home safe. Let's continue. What's up, babe? Yo, they said I'm the most hated rapper in the city, right? Like when Quilly said feet on land, like I'm feet on the land. Like my feet is on the earth. Who that? They busting the Yui too. I feel like half your ops aren't outside. They're, they're in a virtual reality. Fuck, none of my fucking, bro. They we go kill this shit out one of them niggas, bro. This is so... So much to unpack. He asked, Do you feel like your ops are in a virtual reality? Like your ops is only online. Look how he's egging his on. Look at the smile on his face. Do you feel like your ops is only on virtual reality? Egging is on. The light, the lowest lives of black men is content. It's content. I, I spoke about um, Dr. Rashad Ritchie and the TYT lying about Andre Fort to getting killed by police for clicks and likes. Now this man is egging on this West Philadelphia street gang war talking about, oh, your ops is in virtual reality. You in broad daylight with a white dude with a stone cold Steve Austin bomber jacket with a with a film crew and you you in the middle of a street gang war and his question to you is is your ops in virtual reality after you digged up one of your ops graves how could we demand to be respected when we don't respect ourselves were we allowed to be disrespected like this? This is a crazy level of disrespect. I'm going to speak a little bit more about Brandon Buckingham a little later, but let's continue on. Hey, no, not to do no shit like this. I wish somebody, I'm sorry, Brandon Buckingham, bro. I wish you, you would. Go, I wish he would go try to walk around, try to do a vlog with like a low ski to Reaper or one mirror, bro. We're going <laughs> to flame that joint, bro. You catch me in the crossfire if, I, if it comes down to it. You got to get that drop up. Say nah. You my man, bro. We chilling, though. I don't know if this smile is a level of nervousness. Like, you're literally in a gang war zone. A gang war zone where clearly, like I showed a news clip, they don't care about daytime, nighttime. You know, Bobby C. Duel got killed in the daytime. They don't care about that. Like, I'm not sure if you recorded this and dropped it the next day and after you finish editing it but if you did you're a day away from being killed because you're next to him that could be a level of being nervous right there you could be nervous i would be nervous as hell too i don't know who that was they every time somebody been seeing me bro they've been rolling their windows up i don't like when they do shit like that i feel like they be putting cars in and shit I'm on. yeah he's nervous brandon buckingham is, look look at the look of his face Cause this is the second time from this clip that they mention somebody bust a Yui when they see him or somebody now is rolling their windows up when they see him. He don't like that. And not to mention too, from other parts of the video, you notice all his friends out on COVID masks. He had to put his mask down for this interview just to do the clout. So he got to be seen. It's so, like I said, there's so many layers when it comes to this. Adam 22. Vlad, I guess now. Brandon Buckingham. I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them because if we're not doing the bullshit, they won't come to do the, the videos. I think this this probably woke up Brandon Buckingham and be like, I need to stay my ass safely where I'm doing stuff. 
But if we're not doing the bullshit, they're not coming with offers to do videos. Y'all keep doing the bullshit. They're going to come around and do stuff like this. I can't be mad at somebody like that. We live in a capitalistic country where opportunity is all, is under every rock that you can find to become rich, to become successful, to become wealthy. And Brandon Buckingham saw an opportunity because YBC Duel dug up his ops grave. He saw an opportunity to talk about what's going on. Perhaps he liked this rap street culture and he wanted to do a vlog on it or a video or interview on it. He saw an opportunity. Y'all gave him the opportunity. That's not, to me, that's not culture vulture. That's not culture vulture because he came, I'll say this too, he came here as himself. <laughs> he got on a stone cold bomber jacket. He got on the, uh, the white dude mustache that's popular these days and some, some, you know, shaggy hair. He came as himself with a fanny pack. He came as himself. It's not like he came with, uh, you know, a Nike tech suit or whatever these kids are wearing these days and have his hair locked up to look like somebody else. No, he came in himself. So he's not trying to be part of the culture as far as that aspect, but he is part of the culture of the clout, the clout chasing and the clicking. He's part of that culture. The, the, the layers of this man. Disrespect each other for clicks and likes because of op culture, rap culture, street gang culture, whatever y'all want to call culture, drill culture. The clicks and likes. You know, we talked about, um, was it Julio Fulio? Who did that um, that video on his op's grave site? They got killed on his birthday. We, I talked about another rapper who, um, I think it was called like the Nitty or the Natty. I, I can't remember right now, but that video we talked about how there was a dance that was made up that was kind of imitating the way he got stabbed up so they was doing like this for the dance now we talked about ybc duel digging up his ops graves why don't we respect our own people how how would have been if some white folks who are anti George Floyd would dig up George Floyd's graves for clicks and likes. How would it have been if some people who were anti Breonna Taylor digged up Breonna Taylor grave for clicks and likes? Why are we doing this to ourselves? We have five part documentaries of people who were poking fun at the death of George Floyd, who was taking pictures on the floor with a knee on their neck, who were, taking pictures as Trayvon Martin walking around with Skittles and Arizona iced tea with holes in his shirt as a Halloween costume. We have five part documentaries about that, but which is wrong, right? Let's, let's get that clear. That is wrong what they did, but also digging up our ops graves. Also making up a dance on how somebody died. Also making videos on somebody's grave to be disrespectful. <laughs> this, this culture is so crazy. I remember I did a video about how a mother went to her son's grave and one of his ops shot the mom because she was visiting the graves of her son and that was his ops. What are we doing? What are we doing? And I, and I put a, I put a podcast episode out. I, I advise you guys to check it out. Why, why do some black lives matter more than others? If somebody said in one of my comments, there's no such thing as black on black crime. We have to be real with ourselves with this. We have to be real because this is a real reality that we're going through. Statistics says black people are dying 22 times per day from street violence, according to stats from the CDC. It's too many layers right here. It's too many layers. And one of the main layers that we need to discuss is the clout. Digging up the clout from Brandon Buckingham, from YBC Duel digging up graves on for a video shoot. That's all clout. To be disrespectful, to get clicks and likes. You could do it one level higher of a level of disrespect. Let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments, man. Make sure you guys check out my podcast episodes, um, Broken Traditions Podcast. You guys can see that on any podcast platform. And you guys made it this far, man. I would suggest you guys follow the movement wherever you find this video at hit follow hit subscribe whatever it is that 
the respectable platform suggests. Appreciate you guys. All right, man. Until next time. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later. One.